This video will cover customer profiles and the information you may store in each customer profile. Under Customer and Clients, you may search for an existing customer after they have been added in the Add New Customer. To search for the customer, select Customer Management, type in what you are searching for, select the search button, and you'll be presented with a list. Select the client, and in the following window you will see the information as entered previously in the Add New Customer. From this window you will see that you are able to store addresses, credit cards, additional passengers, view past invoices and statements, create custom pricing for the customer, add discounts which are specific to the customer, add deposits for future reservations, view the commission agents attached to the customer, as well as any contacts which may be associated to the customer. In the addresses section, you are able to store as many addresses for the customer as you would like, with one of them marked primary and one marked billing. The primary one will be the one that shows up on all reservations. Please keep in mind that all of the addresses entered in the profile will then be selectable from the drop-down list when creating new reservations. You may add a new one, edit an existing one, or delete if you would like. In the customer profile you are also able to store as many credit cards as the customer provides. One of them marked primary will be the one that shows up on all reservations. Again, each of these are selectable from within the reservation. You may add new ones, edit existing ones, or delete. You are also able to store as many passengers who may travel with the customer on a frequent basis. These may be family members or perhaps work associates that you are stopping to pick up on occasion. In here you may store the address and other information for each of these customers again being able to select them from the drop-down list when creating reservations. You may add, edit, or delete from this window. Also in the customer profile you can view and print all invoices. By selecting the invoices you will see a list of all of their past invoices. You may pr view and print any of these invoices. You may also view and print any of the past statements for the customer by selecting the statement from the window, viewing it, and printing it. You are also able to set up a customer specific discount from within their profile that will only show up for this customer. From here, you may add, edit, or delete any of the existing discounts. To edit, select the discount. It will have the name, the discount amount, and percentage or fixed dollar, and what it applies to. Once you have edited it or added a new one, you may save it for future. You are also able to post future deposits for your customers. By selecting the deposits, you'll be presented with a list of all of the deposits that the customer has provided to you. You may add new ones, edit existing ones, or delete existing ones. You may also print a receipt from this window by selecting the appropriate deposit and clicking on the print receipts. Also in the customer profile you may have commission agents. 
these commission agents would have been entered underneath the employees affiliates and agents under the add commission agents each of these agents then may be assigned to the customer and you may set the value or the amount of how much they are getting commission this will then cause them to have a commission on each reservation which you may then view under the wages area in the commission agent pay enter the amount determine if it's a percentage or fixed dollar amount and what it applies to you may also have unlimited contacts associated with each customer these contacts are people that would be booking reservations and may want to receive information such as confirmations updates or even invoices you may add edit or delete in viewing the contact it must have an email address and then you select which updates or confirmations they receive each individual contact may receive different information if required you may also select if they receive invoices or none or if they only receive invoices for those reservations that they were selected from within the reservation you may have many people receiving the same information or individual people receiving individual information also in the customer profile you are able to set custom pricing this pricing is specific to the customer and is not selectable in any other customer. You may add, edit, or delete any of the existing plans which have been set for this customer. To add a new one, select the Add button, label it. If you want to copy over prices from another plan and then edit them, select it from the list, copy it over, and it will be populated into the window. From here, you may edit their pricing to whatever is appropriate for the customer. By doing so, when you select their reservations, they will then see the new price as opposed to the default prices. You may also add additional fixed charged items which will then only show up on their reservations. You may update their gratuity or add other variable items to their pricing plan. By selecting the edit, I can adjust their gratuity and determine what it applies to. This concludes the Customer Tabs and Information section.